we've been in the business for 12 years or more when we found out that the water we were selling to thousands of people and the reasons we told them that it was good not true. <laughs> Very embarrassing. Um, but good because it explained many things. It explained the reason that people got wonderful effects from the water from our electronic water ionisers and then didn't. Uh, it explained the technology of the water that we're getting and explained many of the myths that we had accepted. So the good news for us was this alkaline water, microclustered water, negative iron water, and I've seen many people in the industry really struggle with the fact that none of that was the reason that the water was good for people. Was the fact was, was that the electronic water ionisers, and now our UltraStream as well, to a greater extent, produce molecular hydrogen. They infuse molecular hydrogen. That's two atoms of hydrogen locked together as a molecule, the smallest molecule in the universe, and it's that atom in the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest amount that has the health effects that people are reporting to us. You know, we research alkalinity hugely. We discover a hundred different studies on the type of water people were drinking around the world. And there's one in Finland particularly where they went to a hundred thousand uh, death certificates and they correlated what people died of with, with where they lived and then they discovered, of course, that they were dying less and of better reasons in places where they had hard water or water with a lot of calcium in it. Uh, Taiwan, England, lots and lots of places all over the globe correlated the same results that drinking alkaline water is better for you. So I'm not saying that drinking alkaline water is bad, I'm, but I am saying that the health effects that we um, witnessed were way beyond the sort of health effects that this meta study said. You know, um, it's fairly obvious that if you drink alkaline water, you're drinking water which is closer to the water which surrounds every cell in your body. You don't have pure water in your body, and you never had pure water in history. So, you know, even a caveman didn't drink pure water. He drink, drank water from a stream or a, or, a, or a spring which was mineralised, so we have evolved to expect and, and work with that water. But, however, we had a young guy in Boise, Idaho. Uh, he was a lecturer at the, the university in Boise, Idaho. Uh, he bought an electronic ionizer from a multi-level marketing company, and they told him, alkalising, microclustering, negative ions, blah, blah, blah. This is why it's so good. And he took it to his professors and they laughed him out of the room. Uh, that young guy was called Tyler LeBaron and we became good friends. And I, we actually met him recently in uh, Brisbane when he was uh, going around the world talking about molecular hydrogen. And with our help, he set up the Molecular Hydrogen Institute. What happened was he got so mad at being rebuffed and told he was a dill uh, by his professors that he started studying in places that no one else had studied, and this is a, he's a biochemist, right? So he looked in places us mere mortals probably didn't look. And he found that in Japan, where w water ionizers came from, uh, they had already moved on. They had moved on from the whole idea of alkaline water and microclustered water and negative iron water, and they already realised that the key was in the, the, the little tiny hydrogen molecule. They gathered together and had conferences about it. They had a solid industry of people manufacturing products to create uh, molecular hydrogen. And there were studies. In 2007, there was only one study that uh, Amer the American Science Establishment allowed, and it was by the Japanese on the potential therapeutic benefits of molecular hydrogen. 2007, one study. Today, 450. So... You know, the science is, is as good as it gets. Now, uh, the authorities would say it's not as good as it gets because it's not thousands of people double, done in a double-blind placebo study. C true, it's not. Now, most of the uh, studies are in vitro or animal studies. There are a few human studies which are all good, uh, but it's not at the point where you can put a big sign up and say this cures cancer, right? 
funnily enough, there are a number of cancer studies, and there are studies on 150 different disease groups. So we have just stopped talking about alkalinity. Yes, alkaline water. Drink some alkaline water. It's good, right? We've stopped talking about microclustering because, as Tyler pointed out, there's no uh, evidence whatsoever of microclustering and there's no evidence of any benefit from microclustering. Yeah. We've stopped talking yeah. about no, no. negative ions because there's no evidence that negative ions do anything for us. We're still talking about the water because now we know what makes the water really work.